welcome back to a brand new Disney Cars review and today we are going to be reviewing Bindo suggested to me by Miguel's Totally Not Boring channel. Miguel thank you so much for suggesting this amazing character and now let's get straight into the review. So first off I would like to say I Bindo is a rare character I believe. I believe mostly all the Maserati characters that have been released from the Cars world are technically rare even though the the two from the Cars 1 franchise have been re-released I think one to re-released two to three times but Bindo and Carlo on the other hand I don't believe they've been re-released at all so these guys are very rare and so yeah they, they are rare and I, I am happy to have them in my possession so I'm going to get into the review Bindo seems a little I would say agitated. Um, you can see the grill here. They had they they blacked it out with the Maserati symbol in the middle. You see that right there. They got some nice design on the headlights. Basic rims, but it looks nice when they spin it. As if we get a good focus here. That's pretty hypnotizing, I would say. Those right there, I believe, are either. It vents some sort or some type of badge that's put on the side of the car. You have a little side, like an indicator. This is a sedan. Um, he is he has silver outlining around his eyelids and the door frame, the window frame to be more exact. These seem to be plastic mirrors, but nonetheless, we got the back here. Great design again on the tail lights. We got a license plate here which reads CM-129IP and then right there it says SA which I don't even know what that stands for. You got the twin tailpipes on each side and very nice. You even have a hint of a silver lining above the uh, license plate which is very cool. And right there that's not a bad point on the actual model. It's just another. It's a. It's just another logo of the car that's put there. Uh, if you guys don't know, the Ma the Maseratis that are produced in the cars world that are put in the cars world, they're based off. They're not based off. They're, they're exactly taken from an actual Maserati model called the Maserati Quattro Porte, I believe. The 2006 model. The 2021 looks completely different from this, but they they are using 2006 Maserati Quattroporte models. If you didn't know, on the base, nothing that interesting. We got made in China, Disney Pixar. We have Maserati. You gotta credit them, and then some more codes. And they actually have a pretty good designing of the undercarriage. Of all how that stuff works, if you're interested in it. But very nice, nonetheless. He's a very cool car. I really like him. Out of all the three, I think he's either my favorite or my second favorite. We'll get into that once we finish comparing. But first off, let's get into the comparing. So first off, we'll compare him with Carlo Maserati. Which out of these two, I would prefer Bindo over Carlo. And I think some people think they're brothers. I don't believe so, because they're both seen in two different locations. Carlo is seen at the Japanese party, while Bindo is seen at the airport, in like a first class section of the airport. During the chase, Bindo is seen. So I don't believe they're, bl they're brothers. They have two different eye expressions, and I like this as well, that they have two different license plates, even though they're technically the same model. Carlo has a license plate which reads Fishbowl, while Bindo has like a, um, a European standard license plate design, I would say. But yeah, Carlo was the first one I got out of the Maseratis. And it's also interesting that Carlo just has a blank silver grill, while Bindo was putting an effort to have a black grill. With a decent job, not the best, but it was a decent with the symbol silvered out. The headlights are a different shade of gray. Yeah, I would say Bindo looks a lot better than Carlo. Now we have the now we have the ones from Cars One. Uh, first, we have Consenso del Coisa, 
which is I believe he's either my favorite or my second favorite. I don't know. He has the glossy paint, metallic paint job. I wouldn't say metallic, but he definitely has the glossy paint job while Bindo has just has a very good basic blue paint job. So out of these two, I would say it's either between Bindo or Costanzo. Which I think I unboxed on this channel. I'm not quite sure. But I might have. But anyways, here's Costanzo. I got this one in Toys R Us. I believe it was one of the last purchases I did on no it wasn't. The last purchase of from Toys R Us I did was of Tommy Time Timothy Time Zone, which is actually on my channel, the unboxing of him. But yeah. You can see nothing is very different has very really changed of the model between cars one and cars two. Like some detail designs have changed, like the grill is different, the design of the grill is different. They don't have that little um what's it called? Indicator on the side. They don't they didn't bother to color that in. Uh, they didn't bother to very color the door handles in. Uh, that's really it, really. Um, a little different f four red tail lights, while Bindo on the hand has red, and a little bit of the white for for when he goes into reverse. There is reversing lights and his brake lights, while they just have full brake light design on him. And the bases are basically the same. Nothing's really changed. As you see on Costanzo, this is Pixar Man in China. You got credit to Maserati and a lot more coding. Now we get into a Tynan one. The Tynan one, which is Ant Antonio, I believe, which I unboxed on the channel close to a year ago from now. Surprise. I believe it's close to a year. Um, this is a Tynan variant. You can see he's very white. It looks like he doesn't have any eyelids on him. And I would say he's kind of my least favorite. I don't know. It's just the way he's painted. Comparing him to these Maseratis from China. The way that he was painted just doesn't look that good. Very sloppy. You can definitely tell like the quality design is a lot is way I would say a way worse way worse quality design and like even the texture you get you get you guys can like um back me up on this at home if you own the the tiny variation of Antonio but like if you rub your finger across like if you have Bindo or any of the other Maseratis I showed you Carlo Antonio no not Antonio Costanzo um you feel that like you, you feel the smoothness of the paint um, but if you rub your finger against the Italian model of Antonio it, it doesn't feel like that it kind of feels I don't I don't really know but it feels completely different than rubbing your finger against the paint look of one of the Chinese models it's completely different like it may be just me it may just be this model that I got but I'm guarantee if you rub your finger against a Chinese variation of them compared to a Chinese variation of a Italian variation of Antonio, you would feel a difference in like texture, not texture, but like feel of like the paint, the smoothness. This does, this feels smooth. This feels very smooth. But for Antonio, it does feel smooth, but it's also like. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. It kind of feels, I wouldn't say sticky. I would, the best thing I would say, it, it feels a little bit of like a plastic wrap on it. I don't really know. But you, you guys will understand if you if you um, do that. Or it may, be, it may be just a die cast I have. I don't know. But that's just a weird thing I discovered while pulling these guys out to get ready for the review. But anyways, on to some more comparisons. You can see, oh, uh, they they did the indicator. Well, this is a 2019 model, so of course they did the indicator. 
but you can see like the quality wise compared to a Chinese one is not that good and yeah that's basically it for Bindo um, again don't know what's up with the paint texture on Antonio but it, it feels very weird it feels very weird in my opinion you guys can back me up and tell me if it's just my die cast itself or you guys are experiencing the same thing but to me it kind of it doesn't feel like the same type of smoothness that the other ones have if you know what i mean but anyways that's basically it for the review of bindo thank you miguel is showing our boring channel for suggesting this amazing character and and yeah thank you all for watching i have a very special video coming out on thursday uh, if you guys didn't know, Thursday is the three-year anniversary of my channel, so I have some type of special video out for you guys um, that day. So, yeah, I already have a video planned for for the week, and then on Friday we can do like a three-year anniversary live stream. I think that'd be very cool um, if everything works out and I don't get anything else in my schedule. Um, that can occupy it but yeah that's basically for today's video if you, if you guys are interested click the links in the description if you want to follow me elsewhere besides youtube and uh yeah that's basically for this video again my guess thank you all thank you for suggesting this and thank you thank you everyone else for watching i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>